Okay, hey class. Um, so today we're gonna learn about prefixes, base words, and suffixes, and how they can change the meaning of the word and change the structure and context of a sentence. So first, what I want everyone to do is get a piece of paper out, get a pencil, and what we're gonna do is we're going to make a little chart. And at first, in the left corner, you're gonna have the word pre, okay? So you're gonna write down pre, and then you're gonna have miss, right below that, then you have R-E right below that, and then you're gonna have less, L-E-S-S -S, underneath R-E, and then meant, and the very bottom. So now we're gonna go to the right side, so draw a line, divide that, and you're gonna spell out the word test. So we have a test in the right-hand corner, put do in the right below that, shoe right under that, encourage right under that, and then we're gonna do do in the bottom. So. Once we have that, this is what it is going to look like. I have already uh, circled some of my stuff. Um, so with the suffixes and prefixes, like I said earlier, change words. Words that can mean different things or even just enhance the word within a sentence. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what are the base words. So what are base words? Flipping to a student, I would say looking at my list, maybe they say do. And I will say, no, that is not a base word. We're going to look again. What is a word that you guys have seen in sentences when you're either reading or even talking? And then maybe they'll think they don't like test. So they're gonna come out and say, test would be a base word. So once they have the understanding of that, we will then say, okay. So now test is our base word. So everyone circle test. So we'll go ahead and uh, circle test. And sorry about my paper, but I have multiple um, circles around it. Cut that out. Um, so now we will look on the left side here. And there is a prefix that can go with test to change it. Now, has anyone heard of any of these um, with test? Like, what do we do before we take our main test? Fill be to a student, hopefully they say pre. So once they have that, I will say then we'll bring it together. So we'll spell it out. Everyone write it down. So we're using pre. Now is that gonna come before or after? As a student, hopefully they will scream out pre, pre is in the first, okay? So they will then say pre test, spell it out. So once they have that, once they have that uh, word, we will circle that. And now we have pretest. It's kind of hard to see, but I have it down here. Okay, so now class, what does this do to this word? How does it change from just test? And they will come back as a student and say, I don't know. So then I'll go back to my teacher mode here. Well, I'm going to tell you that pre means before. Okay, so if we are doing pretest, what does that mean? We're taking the test before our main test. We're taking a pretest before our main test in a sentence. So what does that mean? It means we're coming before. Now, does that change the word? Test to pretest? Exactly, it does. Okay, so once we got that one out of the way, we have the base word shoe. So everyone look at your shoes. You got a shoe on. All right, so what happens at the, bottom, at the end of a word that could change it? We talked about it earlier which would be a suffix. Okay, perfect. So if you look on your right side, I want you to put a square around shoe. Okay, so we have shoe circled. Everyone put your shoe again. Okay, so what is a suffix or any of these things that could come at the end to change the word? And hopefully they shout out less. So now what does less mean? Less means you don't have or you're without. Okay, so now, we have a word, shoe less. So we'd spell that out, we'd write it down, and we have shoe less. Okay, so what does that mean, shoe less? Without shoes, correct. And that's when they would come back with me and then point to their shoes or something. And then I would say, okay, what if someone doesn't have a shoe on their right foot? Can someone take off their right shoe? And then, Let's say one of them takes off their right shoe, tell them to stand up a little bit, 
And so they're standing there and I go, so what is he doing? He is shoeless, okay? So once we have that, we want to now talk about the another base word, encourage. Okay, so we look, we looking back at our list, we have encourage, let's put a triangle around encourage. So we have a triangle around encourage, it's gonna be a wide triangle. Okay, now we have another suffix, okay? So on this, on the left side, it would be my left, which one would go with encourage? What does encourage mean? Uh, they will come back and say, it means to clap for your friend, you know, do something nice. So then I would go, okay, we already have less and pre out of it. Let's use one of these, miss, re, or met, okay? So hopefully they would come back with me and say encouragement. So we have encouragement, okay? So what does that do to that word? Can someone uh, say a sentence? And then they will come back with me and say, um, Mary encouraged, Mary showed encouragement to encourage someone to do something well. Let's just say that. Okay, so they responded with that. I will then affirm them and say, that was a great job. And we can move on from this word now. So that is going to be the final word that I'm going to use in this uh, presentation. But the biggest thing, um, and I forgot to do it, is you also have to affirm every time they get something right. So if we're going through our base words, we're going to have all our base words circle them or do whatever that could help them understand it or learn easier. But we really have to give positive feedback, and I forgot to do that in the first part of it. I caught myself in the uh, back end, but that is something going forward in teaching this lesson that they'll have to understand. They also have to understand what pre and prefixes and suffix, the differences. Um, and we will go through that every day during our lesson of this. And we, I will just say, well, give, me a pre, give me a prefix. And hopefully they write down pre. And then I'll say, give me a suffix. And it'll give me meant less. And we can do out some more words. Thank you for listening. And I hope um, that I explained the lesson very clearly. And thank you very much.